So we're recording now, and uh, the thing that we want to be working on today is hard surface. Uh, hard surface number three, or part three, however you want to phrase it. Uh, let me bring that in, actually, so you can get a sense of what we're gonna what we're gonna talk about. So the first thing, hard surface three, we want to make sure we're talking about is um, is just a little design tip. Let me start my drawing program. So we're going to look at quick sketch. And uh, the important things for me there are making sure that you know how to get into and out of quick sketch. Uh, then we're going to start creating parts. So we've looked at a thing, a lot of things like panel loops, uh, Z remesher, dynamesh, uh, curve tubes, stuff like that. We've looked at all of those. Now we're going to start applying some of that to create things like a Gatlin gun, shocks, uh, types of plating, bullets, uh, nuts and bolts, weird circular kind of space things that we might need, so outlets or insignias, and then th connectors for hub, uh, for hoses, stuff like that. So we're going to look at creating parts first, then we're going to get in and start looking at this insert multi-mesh and the insert mesh brush. Uh, and we're going to start, we're just going to go over the management of them, how you work with them, and then we're going to go over an example of creating them, of creating tripart insert mesh. Once we've got a sense of parts and a sense of the brush, then we're going to go in to um, start creating our mech character. And so I'll show you, you know, we're going to put an actual human in there. We're going to pose him in some basic pose and, uh, and then start to see if we can build out the concept that we created. Uh, once we get done with that, then we're going we're gonna, to, if we have time, start to expand on how you work with it. Because hard surface is not, you know, it's, there's a, a craft to it. So uh, it's just like doing the uh, organic sculpting. You have to start with, or you have to block in forms. Block in is always important, and then you just start to refine. Now, in the case of mech stuff, you'll block in forms like have a human that you start to pull things off of, and then you instead of refining, you might go to say extracting shapes, and then you might go into something like duplicating and uh, really getting a bunch of these plates and pieces and then you'll go into refining and adding line work, uh, things of that nature. Uh, so we'll start talking about that with Topo Brush for their expansion and then we'll definitely look at uh, the other insert mesh brushes and the stuff that shifts with it and how you can control, uh, control that stuff. So is my audio coming around, coming across okay? Can did it break up for anybody? Are we ready to jump in? All right, good. Uh, Ronnie's got a question about how to make a hole in the middle of geometry, and uh, that process has largely been solved with the curve bridge tool, and uh, Dynamesh kind of solved it, but. Not 